I'm off riding up what I like to call the snowy mountain route. Hey everyone, GE Loves Trains out and welcome to Exploring Yorkshire on the Humber by Train, day seven. I'm off riding up what I like to call the Snowy Mountain Route. It is one of my all-time favourite routes from Manchester to Huddersfield. It is absolutely gorgeous and it is Christmas time at the moment, so I'm hoping that the mountains are going to be snowy again. I'm off to Slowit, Marsden, Huddersfield and Dayton. I'm currently on board 185-140 and I'm just waiting to again get a glimpse of the snowy mountains as we head into Yorkshire. They're not quite snowy but they're still beautiful. I just went admittedly last minute to go to the toilet on the train but somebody was in it so I'll have to hold it until the next train but it is only half an hour wait. It could have been an hour but I've decided to just come up one and then go back down because it is like freezing cold at the minute. I'm at Slow It. Slow it down will ya? When you first read the name of this station though like it does say Slaithwaite right? <laughs> But from listening to the announcements on the trains, I do now say Slowit. Slowit is one of those odd stations that's run by Northern Trains, but is only served by TPE. And it's got two platforms. My favourite kind of platforms, they're staggered. There's grit all along the platform, which is really lovely to walk along. We've also got these cool modern red and silver shelters with ticket machines. There was no doubt today that I was going to become Gloves Trains. It is seriously freezing right now and I'm just going to go and figure out how to cross the platform for my next train. Just outside the station as well, there are these little artsy bits, including this bench which I've put my camera on, which tells you to relax. The next train is coming in now, it's making its way around a nice curve though. I wonder if it's the same unit as uh, the one that's brought me here. I think it might be. And I also wonder whether the Manchester bound trains are busier than the Huddersfield bound trains. Well, I'm about to find out. I also really need the toilet on here. It is 185. Forgets the numbers are at the side of these. 140. Yep, it is the same unit. And it's a shame I only have a few minutes on board here because I really want to warm up with it right now. Question, why does Marsden have three platforms? Answer, I genuinely don't know, but it does have three platforms and it's also another one of those stations that's run by Northern Trains, but only TPE trains serve the station. There's a lot of seats at Marsden, there's information screens, there's these black shelters which I think have been painted recently because it does say caution wet paint, but in actual fact, it's just wet. <laughs> There are a lot of TPE trains that come past the stations along this line. I've only got half an hour here again, and I'm gonna go and have a quick wander to the Huddersfield Narrow Canal, which you could have also got to from Slowit, and it was advertised in the station there. There's certainly not step-free access at Marsden. Hang on, that platform over there, maybe that has step-free access. Yep, it does have step-free access and I didn't actually realise that the canal runs this close to the station. <laughs> I'm literally having five minutes along here and then I'm getting back. And I remember the first time I walked a little bit along the Huddersfield Narrow Canal, I had no clue which canal it was because there were no signs up anywhere. <laughs> Oh, 
just got off 185 for 145 and I'm now at Huddersfield. I was supposed to have a very quick change over here of just nine minutes. However, this service was a little bit delayed and it left me with about a one minute changeover, but also my connecting train has been cancelled. So I've now got an hour wait here. I did want to avoid having hour waits. However, it's more ideal to have an hour wait than it is a one minute changeover where I wouldn't have been able to film much anyways. <laughs> There are some coffee shops within the station. There's a broken clock. There's a really lovely view down there. Oh, also there are two pubs at either end of the station. Huddersfield is a Transpennine Express station and Northern Trains call here as well. It's got six platforms, although it confused me a little bit because I saw a sign for platform eight. So I was like, oh, is there eight platforms? But I think from what I can figure out, that platforms three and seven don't exist so there are just the six and when you're at Huddersfield you put your knickers on your head you put your knickers on your head you put your knickers on your head when you're at Huddersfield you put your knickers on your head and you shout squishy babies I've just come across to this little area here which is like the Penistone Line area of Huddersfield Station let's call it because I do remember seeing this last time I was here and uh, thinking it was very interesting to look at. Been the... Been the... Been the... I have been to Huddersfield Station I think just the once and I literally came out as I have just done then whilst I've got plenty of time now to have a look at the front of the station and I do think it is very good looking. I'm on 185107, it has pulled in fairly early into Huddersfield so we can just chill out on the train and sit here for a bit until it leaves. I'm at Dayton, it's Dayton, yeah whatever, it's got two platforms, Dayton is served by Norman Trains and of course Transpennine Express. I keep taking my gloves off on the trains and forgetting to put them on, I will do so soon. <laughs> I have noticed today as well just then on the Huddersfield to Leeds 185 and before on the Snowy Mountain Route 185s there were no seat reservations I'm so used to there being seat reservations on uh, the 185 it's because I'm usually traveling on the Manny Airport to Red Car Central ones so yeah maybe some routes have them and some routes don't this is a quiet outdoorsy station. Dayton's got the teeny information screens up in the shelters. There is a ticket machine at the bottom of the ramp as well. And what else has it got? It's got bins. <laughs> Trying to catch a falling leaf, catch it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually quite fun. That's something I can do when I have long station waits in the future. Catch falling leaves. <laughs> I think I must have slept in a dodgy position last night because I can barely twist my neck. Like, when I do this, it hurts. <laughs> Just on this walking route, don't have a clue where it's going today, but can see Dayton station down there. It was wonderful visiting the stations further along the snowy mountain route, which it will always be known as, even when the mountains aren't quite snowy. It was lovely riding with the 185s and all of them as well have been really quiet services, which does make such a change these days because I'm so used to being on rammed trains, <laughs> let me tell you. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I best quickly shoot down to the station to get me train. Fuzzy boys! I do say sl sl I nearly said slave weight. I do say slow slow weight on my days, I'm saying slave weight again. <laughs>